Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to build an e-commerce shopping cart with vanilla JavaScript. So the website is in here. As you guys can see, we have four products that uh, if you hover it, you can see a button in here that says add to cart. So let's say, for example, I'm going to add uh, two black hoodies. So I'm just going to double click one, two. And at the top, we should see in here a cart button that has like two in there at the moment. So we got two products. I'm going to add one of these gray hoodie as well. So I'm going to click on it. Now I have three. So if I reload the page, look, if I reload the page, it's still there, the number three. Why is that? Because we are going to use something called the local storage. All the modern browsers, they have it. And this is awesome for front end applications like this one that we are going to build. So if I'm going to click now in here in this cart, okay, I'm going to click in here and now I can see that I have two of these black hoodies that we selected from before. We can see the individual price of it and the total price of two. So if each one is $20, the total is going to be 40. And we also have one gray hoodie, which is $20. Okay. And all together, the price should be $60. Maybe I'm going to do some more zoom. I don't know if we need, but hopefully you guys will see better. So we can also just click on these buttons to change the quantity. Let's say I'm going to add one of these gray hoodies. Okay. I'm going to click now the total price because it's two is 40. And now if you guys check in here, also the cart, I have four products in total. And of course the total price is also updated. I can also click in this delete button that will get rid of all of these products. So for example, if I click on this, okay, now I only have two black hoodies on the card in here. I only have two, which is perfect. And now the total price is $40 and down here, $40 as well. All right, guys. So this is the project that we are going to build. I hope you are excited for these. And the first thing that we're going to do is just like start building the HTML and CSS of this project. I'm not going to spend too much time on these HTML and CSS. I have the code just in here. I'm going to use it, uh, but I'm going to explain, of course, but I want to spend a bit more time in JavaScript because that's all this course is about. But as usual, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. I answer to all of your questions. And also I'm going to put some links, okay, for some of these files, the, all of these files in the end, if you guys just want to use them, is really up to you. If you don't want, um, you can just like follow along uh, and should be easy. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing we need to do is just create our index.html file. So that's what I'm going to be doing, HTML. And uh, I'm just going to write down some simple template here HTML5. Um, just going to close this. I'm going to put in here like on the top shopping cart and inside I'm just going to put a h1 saying this is the home page. I'm also going to create now a new file for the styles.css. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to create another file, which is going to be for my cart.html. So this is going to be just like a page to go to the to the cart where we have all the products. So I'm just going to copy everything that I have on my index.html. I'm going to put this inside of my cart.html and that should be it for now. All right. Uh, like I mentioned before, guys, I'm not going to spend too much time with HTML and CSS on this course because I want to just give a bit more time just for JavaScript because this is a JavaScript course anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to paste some code in here that I have already from the project. Uh, you guys can always, you have a link on the description if you want to get the files. Um, if you are getting this course, you should get the, the files if it's, um, uh, you guys just want like to follow along and just pause the video and just uh, copy it. Feel free as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to start with uh, Heather. Okay. I'm just going to copy this that I have in here on the side. I'm 
I'm gonna paste it. Let me just close this. I'm gonna paste this. So at the moment I have a header element with a div with a class overlay, a nav with a H2 title and with some kind of navigation bar. So if I just see how does this look like at the moment, it just looks like that. Okay, is a normal is a normal um, navigation bar of a website. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm gonna give you just a little bit of time if you wanna just like copy what I have in here. So once you have this, we could actually just like start styling our um, website. So I'm just gonna put a link to my CSS and I think I called it styles, okay, plural.css. In there, I'm just gonna paste some things that I usually put. So I always put this on all my um, websites to just like reset all these kind of uh, properties. Then obviously we got in here a, a font family Roboto that uh, we don't have at the moment. So we need to import it from Google. Okay. So if you go into Google fonts, okay, I'm going to click on Google fonts and I'm just using this one Roboto. Okay. So if you guys click in here, on the bottom, you should see, let me just move these a bit to the side. Uh, you should see just like a link to import this. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to copy, I'm going to copy this and paste it just um, in here. I also need to put, of course, a link. I'm not sure if I put the link. Yeah, I put the link on the wrong, I put on the cart.html on the wrong place. So I'm gonna take this off from the cart. Now, actually, I need to leave it in here anyway because we are gonna be using this for the cart. Um, so I'm just gonna put it in here, okay? Styles.css. Okay, so we got these done. Let me go back in here, just save. Let me put some more styles. I'm gonna put a style for my header. Okay, I'm gonna put the header in here. At the moment, as you guys can see, my header, it just has like a, a background image that is nicely styled with a height of 150 pixels. Then, if you guys remember, I have in my, um, yeah, I think I pa pasted all of this stuff. I, I'm gonna copy all of these because this is gonna be exactly the same for my index, okay? It was just a mistake, guys. You you can do copy the same code for both index and the cart.html because uh, it's gonna be the same thing. Look, if I'm gonna click in here, home, cart, it's still the same. Um, okay, there is one thing at the moment that we need is, let's copy this overlay thing. You see this div overlay? I'm gonna put in here some CSS that is making it um, a bit darker. That's what I wanted. Then I'm gonna put some styles for my nav as well. So I'm gonna put in here. So at the moment, my nav is within here with the title and I got in here the, um, the menu nav links. Then I'm gonna put some stylings, okay, for my nav links. So I'm gonna put these in here. I'm giving it a little bit of time, like I said, if you want to just like pause the video and copy these styles. At the moment, we just got home, about and cart. If you guys notice in here on my navigation, okay, I'm using something called iron icons, okay? This is some kind of font icons that you can use that you can increase the size, change the color and everything. And I really like to use them, iron icons. So I'm going to put in here on Google iron icons they are completely free okay so i'm going to click in here and look you got all these icons that you can use i'm going to click on usage and you got the script in here that you need to put down on the body of the page and then if you continue continue to scroll down there's going to be another link in here that says installation you should put it just before your style.css Okay, so um, if everything is fine and we just refresh our page, it should be working. Uh, let me just see if I'm missing something. I think this, uh, maybe I'm on the about, yeah, okay. 
now I'm on the home and it's there okay let's put a little bit more styles for the card so I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna put um, down here look now is nicely styled my card like I said it's in here all the styles so let me just indent this a little bit better so everything is nicely organized uh, let me just copy all this code into my cart because it's going to be exactly the same index and cart at the moment they should be exactly the same so if you go between home and cart it's going to be the same okay so we got this for our header now we can start building for example the products and now these products is just for the index.html page okay uh, let me just see um I'm just going to copy this okay I have a container so I'm going to copy my container that I have in here and I'm going to show you so after the header you see I'm just going to give a little bit of space okay I'm going to now paste this and this is my div with a class of container with a couple of these images that uh, if you guys don't remember I have in here on the side a folder with these images okay and uh, these images they have inside all this stuff that I'm gonna use so let me just increase by the way I'm gonna put this in here I'm gonna increase this so you guys can see a little bit better so you got the start of the container and then you got a div with a class image that this is gonna be each one of the images with the image inside, with the title, with the um, with the price, and then we got the add to cart button that we don't see. I'm gonna get rid of these inputs because I think I was not even using them in the end. Okay, so you can get rid of these inputs. I was just trying to do something else. So if I refresh the page, look, you should see something like this right now. Okay. Uh, I think I just put like four products. You can put as many as you want. Let's go back to the styles.css now. Uh, let me see card A. I'm just going to put my container. So I'm going to put in here my container. I'll just get rid of this thing. I'm going to explain that after. So if you put this container, now you should see in here the projects then I'm just gonna put uh, image this is to style our images okay so they look a little bit better like this then I'm gonna do a add to cart because we have an add to cart button inside uh, what else then ah, of course I think I forgot um, no I didn't forget to put I'm just gonna put this for when we hover when we hover the images we can see the add to cart button there it is okay there it is there it is there it is okay and if I go to cart there is nothing and if I go to home I got all of this all right so I think that's it for this video guys we set up our project our initial project this is nothing related with JavaScript but I think it's always good for you guys to see a little bit how we started the project how we added all these different elements and of course you can style it as you want all right so that's it for this video guys and I'll see you in the next one